Let's work on an asymptotic analysis problem. Now the intro to this problem says that you should have a substantial amount of experience with asymptotic analysis before 320, and so this is just a little bit of review, and we're going to review by working through a really messy algorithm. It's not a typical algorithm, it's not going to do anything useful, partly because of that, we get to make an algorithm that has this bizarre structure just so we can try out some different things while we're doing analysis, but it'll mean that the particular steps we follow here are not going to be the steps you follow when you're analyzing an algorithm. Instead, they just might be some useful steps that you'll run across. We'll usually analyze useful algorithms as we're running along, as we've worked through the stable marriage problem, for example. Second, our analysis here is not with respect to the size of the input, but with respect to its actual value. So we're going to have an algorithm that takes in n, and we're going to analyze how long it takes with respect to n. We don't usually do that. Usually we'll take in a graph with n nodes, or an array with n elements, or a graph with n edges. Maybe we're more concerned about the number of edges. Uh, or n descriptions of people's preferences, and so on and so forth the input will have a size that's related to what we're interested in rather than actually being the number that we're interested in. Lastly, we're not even going to consider analyzing anything but worst case runtime. That is the most common thing that we'll analyze during the course. Worst case is important because it gives us a bound on how bad an algorithm can be. And runtime is important because, hey, runtime is important. But there are other things that will matter. So, for example, one that we'll commonly be interested in is memory usage. If you use a tremendous amount of memory in an algorithm, it might not be that great an algorithm. And we might also be interested in things like average case performance or expected case performance. Okay, with that, we're ready to actually jump into the algorithm. 